Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to show you how to check your services on your Mini Cooper, uh, second generation Mini Cooper. That would be like your R53 or R56s, your uh, R57s, um, your R54s, um, all of those. So checking the services on here and resetting that service light. Uh, that's pretty easy. It's gonna be through your uh, BC button. Everything will be up front unless it's a 2013 and higher and you have navigation, you'll, uh, you'll be able to check everything through that navigation. But for your standard vehicle that does not have a navigation, you're, you will use your side BC button right there. That is right there. That's on the blinker. You'll press down those buttons. So if you have a normal screen that shows up like this, you'll press down on that button. It will scroll through that screen. You'll come to set info and then hold the button down. That'll go to check info. So you can hold on check info and that'll tell you some of the warnings that are on. So this vehicle we have in the shop today has battery, fog lights, headlights. So that's some of those warnings. Now we can go, it came up once we got done, it came up with the home or the next. I'm gonna hold it down for next. It's gonna give me service info. You can skip over the uh, check info to the service info if you choose to. And then hold the button down and service info. So this will tell you what services are due in the time frame that they're due. So you just push the button and it'll scroll right on down through those. All right. So we'll go right on through it again. That's for your oil change. This gentleman has an oil change in 11,000 miles or 8, 2024. That is your rear brakes. That's a symbol for rear brakes. It looks like we're gonna be coming close to rear brakes in 3,700 miles. This is your brake fluid flush. Brake fluid flush for this person is due in 10, 20, 24. This is a vehicle check. It's just an inspection, an in-depth inspection on your Mini Cooper. Look everything over and see how we're doing on it. This is your front brakes, similar signal or symbol on it. And uh, looks like we got a little over 10,000 on there. And then this is emissions for whoever has emissions in their state. If not, you can see this gentleman, we have it at 20, 20, or 2050. South Carolina doesn't have emissions, so we, uh, uh, we don't have to, so we set it all the way back out there. If you were to reset it, if you wanted to reset it, you hold that button down on it to reset those buttons on there. So let me go back through it and I'll show you how to reset. So we'll go to set info. We'll skip over check info by pushing down the button. We'll hold down on service info. So I'll reset these emissions. So I'm holding it down and it's popping up. Now it's telling me, giving me a time frame on it. So I can flip it. And then I just held it down and we'll go right on over. So we'll say he doesn't need emissions until 2060 now. I'm gonna hold that button down. Oh, it's starting to count on it. All right, so I just let it reset on itself. It saved it and it's good to go. So that's all you have to do is hold the button down and then it'll ask you if you wanna reset, you hold the button down again and it resets. All right, thank you.